Well, Russell's never been that way. He, he gets plays. He, he's like Shaq. Plays we'd miss on him. And we'd, we'd miss on him because he was so strong. He'd finish. He'd get fouled. And we wouldn't have, we'd miss plays on him. I have a pretty good rapport with players, I think. I mean, I'm sure there's a few that probably would disagree, but I have a damn good rapport with players. And, and I've always thought a lot of him. I've always, I just, I, I mean, hey, I, I'm not here to name a lot of players. I mean, there's, I mean, I, I think Jimmy Butler is a fantastic basketball player. I, I think Steph Curry, look what he did the other night. I mean, there's great players. And I just always, Russell with me and with a lot of the referees, you know, hey, he's, he takes his medicine, and we miss plays on him, and he'll get his technical fouls, and, and whatever the case may be, but he's been respectful of my profession and of our profession. And when a, re, when a player on, f- from the beginning of time with me is, is respectful of my profession, I give them their due, and, and I've, I've always, I, Russell has always been that way. When you told me that at dinner. It's the truth. That's just the way I feel. It, it shook me up because hey. I'm not a fan of, of Westbrook's, but you, you're making me reconsider. I'm telling you, that guy, I mean, a a lot of the players, I mean, players that constantly complain at every play, well, they just got to, it's going in in one ear out the other. You aren't even processing it. But I used to say, like like the Pat Riley's of the world, or the um, John Stockton's of the world, or the, you know, the Allen Houston's of the world. When they said something and complained about something, I didn't have to wait till I got to the tape. I already knew I kicked the heck out of it. I already knew. Because they didn't say it very often. So I already knew that I missed that play. And nine out of ten times, they were right. But when you get players that constantly say something all the time, I mean, do they really think we're listening? Referees aren't listening. Well, Russell's never been that way. He, he gets plays. He, he's like Shaq. Plays we'd miss on him. And we'd, we'd miss on him because he was so strong. He'd finish. He'd get fouled. And we wouldn't have, we'd miss plays on him. And I'd go back and look at plays, and I'd come, I'd come to him after the game, or, or I mean, I'd come to him after the in the second half. I missed that play. I kicked that guy out of that play. You, you got fouled. I missed it. And I don't know, I, I like to think he's that way with a lot of referees. I, I would hope he was. And I'm not just trying to signal, signal Russell. There's a lot of players that are in this same mold that they, they they're, uh, you, you they're, told all, me some other they're all men out there. Yeah. They, they, they take their hits and they get up. You told me some others, but the Westbrook thing surprised me. I'm glad you told me that. evidently, maybe you, you think differently, but that's okay. Yeah, uh, I'm glad you told me that. Uh, I, 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 I needed to hear that. I needed someone to shake up my narrative on Russell. Good. Now, the other, th- the, I, you refed, did you, do you ref the 2011, did, were you involved in the Miami Heat Dallas Mavericks series? Is that what? Yes, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The, I was involved in that. Yeah, I was involved with that. I was also had the people always ask me my favorite game. It's, it's, you know, I mean, I, I worked the game when when Ray hit the shot. You know, against the Spurs. You know, that was a game six. That was always something that I'll remember oh, for a lot of, for a lot of reasons because I was with Joey and Duke, and they're both good friends, good referees, and we had a, we had a good time. But but I remember when I was sitting next to Duke, I think, and people after the third quarter were leaving. They were leave, literally, they were walking up the ramps and they were going out the doors. And then when they went out the doors, you know, once it's locked, you can't get back in. And, and I, you know, we both looked at each other and said, they think this is over. I said, I, I don't know. I don't think this is over yet. And, you know, for whatever reason, uh, it, was a, it was a heck of a game. It was a great game. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure uh, the Spurs think that was one that got away from them. And whatever the reason was, it was just a heck of a game. But, yeah. I think my first finals game, I think, I, I'm trying to remember because I honestly don't keep track of this stuff, but I think was the first one because I remember I worked with Danny Crawford, who's a heck of a referee, heck of a guy, and Jackie Neese, also a guy I respected quite a bit, and that was 2006 when they, I think they beat the Mavericks that year. I think it was, I think it was Miami and the Mavericks in 2006. So um, there's just been a lot, you know, I mean, there's been a lot of good memories and a lot of good, great games. And You refed. Michael Jordan's return yes. from his first yes. retirement, correct? Yes. I was at that game as well. I worked that game as well. Yeah, in Indianapolis, yeah. I'll never forget that. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, who in the sport doesn't respect him? I mean, of course. But, but we didn't know he was coming. I mean, that was just another game. I was on the road. I was on a 12-day trip, whatever, you know. We get a call the next night saying, you know, just to give you a heads up, might be a little different tomorrow night. Uh, I get, they, rumor has it Mike is going to play. And that's all they told, told us. Well, you get, you get to the arena an hour, two hours before the game, it was packed. And then you, you walk into the arena an hour before the game, it, the place is already sold out. That was just, that was what Mike brought to the game. It was, just, it was wonderful to see him back. And it was, a, and I, you know, I remember, I, remember, I think they got beat that game. If I remember, right. I think Indiana beat them that game. But um, it was just, uh, it was something, you know, a young kid like me will re- always re- remember. 
Well, Ken, I know you've heard this before. Uh, you look like the referee version of Pat Riley. Has people have told you that? Yeah, a few times. I told the Pat, short Pat Riley. Pat, I used gel. I, I used gel before you did, Pat. Let's make sure we understand. <laughs> we kid about that all the time. He, uh, again, a guy that um, on the sidelines, you know, you he says something, you listen because he didn't. He he coached and he didn't. He didn't get on referees. He coached, and I've always had a lot of respect for him. Mm -hmm.